let us look at biologically important peptides so what are peptides first peptides are basically composed of small number of amino acids which are joined together by peptide bonds okay for example dipeptide so as the name suggests dipeptide consists of two amino acids which are joined together by a peptide bond tri tripeptide is three amino acids which are joined together by peptide bond similarly tetrapeptide is four amino acids which are joined together by a peptide bond now the term is oligopeptide now oligopeptide is a general term which is reserved for 10 or less than 10 amino acids which are joined together by peptide bonds polypeptide is when 10 to 50 amino acids are joined together by peptide bonds and proteins are when more than 50 amino acid are joined together by peptide bonds okay so what are biologically important peptides peptides so biologically important peptides are basically oligopeptides that is amino acids of number 10 or less than 10 which are joined together by peptide bonds and which have specific function in the body or are biologically active so examples of uh, biologically important peptides are first is trh or thyrotropin releasing hormone it's a hormone which is released by the hypothalamus it's a tripeptide so it's made up of three amino acid and the function of trh is for production of thyroid stimulating hormone by the pituitary second important biologically important peptide is glutathione so this is also a tripeptide that is it is made up of three amino acids which are joined together by peptide bonds it is a powerful antioxidant so what are antioxidants antioxidants is our defenses against oxidative stress which takes place in our body and because of this antioxidant nature glutathione also helps preserve the rbc membrane integrity so the membrane of the rbc is not damaged by oxidative stress glutathione also helps in absorption of neutral amino acids next is oxytocin now oxytocin is a nanopeptide that is there are nine amino acids which are joined together by peptide bonds and oxytocin is a reproductive hormone which helps in uterine contraction also vasopressin vasopressin also is a nanopeptide so made up of nine amino acid and vasopressin helps in salt and water regulation in the body then angiotensins angiotensins can have from 7 to 10 amino acids which are joined together by peptide bonds and they also regulate salt and water in our body and also act as vasoconstrictors okay the other uh, biologically important peptide is gramicidin s okay which is an antibiotic and is produced by bacillus brevis so thank you very much